Hi, how are you? Are you okay today? I certainly hope so. Now, this is Cameo, and someone has put in a request uh, uh, for me to do something really nice for you. And I hope I can, and I will, and I'm going to give it everything I have to give. And I'm not going to take it down. Well, it's above my head on the screen, the message. I don't know what it says. I haven't read it. I don't know who you are. But that's okay, because it doesn't really make any difference. Now, what does make a difference is that I'm not going to take it off this screen, roll into a little ball, throw it back at you, and go, eh, it's great talking to you. And they would have been gone, if not right about in three or four seconds. The average cameo is 45 seconds long. My average is, and we won't get into that. Anyway, it's a lot longer than 45 seconds, even twice, even triple that. So anyway, it's 55 seconds. I haven't done a thing. I don't even know who you are. Let's go find out who you are right now. Okay, cool. Thing for Andy Dakin, book by Jonathan and Kate. My uncle Andy turned 60 on 316 on March the 16th. Well, Uncle Andy, happy birthday. In fact, before we even go any farther into this video, right? All right, Jonathan, Kate, and I know there's people around this screen watching, okay? I got that down. Now, what you're going to do right now is we're going to all sing happy birthday, right? But at the end of it, it's different because I'm always different. At the end of it, it goes hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. And we're doing it for Andy. Hip, hip, hooray for Andy. So don't sit around and be shy and go, oh, I can't do that. Just put on your good pants and go for it. Put on your hip, hip, hooray pants and go for it. You ready? Here we go. We're ready to sing first. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Now, hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Yes. Yes. Hip hip. Hooray for Andy. Yes. Yes. Yes, Andy. And if, and if they didn't do it, Whoever's watching this, just roll it back and make them do it this time. Remember, didn't do it. And if you didn't do it, shame on you. Oh, I know, you're all shy and timid and you didn't. Just put on your untimid pants and do it now. We're going to play it again. One more time. Go for it. I'll wait. Okay, so I'm back. And it says here, your music. Sorry, I want to make sure I turn that off because it goes off into the netherworld. Your music has been the soundtrack to his life. Well, I'm going to go on because I just, I read ahead and just to say, he is such a passionate fan. Okay, Andy, let me say this to you right now. I owe you everything. I'm dead serious because it's you and people like you that have built the path that I have walked down. And I've walked that path even to getting to this video. Without that path, I'm not at this video. From 65, and I'm good Lord, 65, are you kidding? From 65 to 75, that's all it was? Okay. That was my training ground. Theater, Shakespeare, rock band, improv, working with people from Second City in Chicago, Belushi, Gilda, Second City in Toronto, improv, Shakespeare, Broadway, rock music, my foundation. Met Jim, I used that whole foundation to create who I am and what I do. 
I wasn't born overnight, like they say. Oh, he was a 10-minute miracle baby. Nah. Huh. Working my little ass off for... And even when that came out. Uh, so it's really almost 13 years. And... But if it wasn't for you and people like you, I'm not here. And... I give you everything I have. I do not let anything. I've been to shows, and I've been to a lot of shows, and people that are really famous, and still, you know, they're, you know, you go to their show, you wouldn't know it, but I do. They walk, and they're, they're about to give everything, and then they take it back. They're, they're it's, it's fearful. It's fearful to jump over that ledge. I did it every night I went on stage. I did it every time I walked on a movie set. I did it every night I walked on Shakespeare stage. Every night I walked on a Broadway stage. Every night I've walked on a concert stage. Every time I've walked, I've given everything because I know how and I'm not afraid of it because that's when it becomes that's when you really embrace it and you understand it. And I understand you and people like you. And I have embraced you forever and ever. And I can never, ever repay you. I can't repay you. I give you everything, but it's not enough. Not enough to me. And I am Andy eternally eternally grateful to you and I say thank you very much now oh my goodness <laughs> he has your entire your he has your bat of the hell album cover tattooed across his entire back Andy get down with your bad self dude Yes, I owe you everything 14 times over. You are a very special human being in my life. And I would love to see the Bad Out of Hell cover on your back, even though I'm not a fan of tattoos. I do have one, though. Oh, it's right there. You'll never see it. It's right there. I was in L.A. Maybe you can see it. Little black dot right there. That's it. You can see it. See that little black dot? That's my tattoo, Andy. That's it. Now you go, how'd you get that? Well, I'm sitting across from a table who was a friend of mine and still is. I haven't seen him, but if I could see him, I want to. His name was Barney. And Barney was giving himself a needle with thread dipped in ink tattoo on his lip and it was backwards and he was writing the name Barney so when people came up and asked him what his name was he'd go like that and he said Barney and I'm going oh my god what are you doing and he'd stop and go I'm, I'm getting people my name I go oh god oh man and I'm sitting at this table and he just bing with that needle right there that dot well, I slid that chair halfway across the room, still talked to him. He couldn't talk, and then his lips swelled up. Oh, it was awful. But he had Barney tattooed on the inside of his lip. And he did his own tattoos, and he was pretty good at it. And he gave me my one tattoo, that's it. Playing Eddie in Rocky Horror, I had a, we had a tattoo that was pretty much on my arm all the time. The Eddie tattoo. I would go over it every night with an eyebrow pencil, but we did it in, in ink and in tattoo ink. They drew it. Had to, somebody drew it. I believe he's a tattoo artist. He drew it. So um, a lot better than being, well, well, for me, it's a lot better than being stuck by a needle. I have this real thing against needles. So anyway, and it goes, it would mean the world to him if you could wish him a happy birthday. I have, I did, and I will. And 
thank you for being a fan of Bad Out of Hell. And I'm sure you're a fan of, of I, I, did you get bad for good? With the, me and Roger Daltrey do that on the opening to song and and Bat too, and uh, Welcome to the Neighborhood with Tom Waits' Martha on it, um, and a couple of Jim things on it too. And then Jimmy got sick and couldn't do Bat 3 and turned it over to somebody that I want to punch in the nose. But I, and he won't come around. Yeah, I really do. And Andy, if you want to, you can help me. Um, and let me say this to you, Andy. It says it was the soundtrack to your life. Anytime you want to, you can take tape, take Gaffer's tape, and put across my name and write Andy Dakin, Bat Out of Hell on it. Because it's yours. They're your stories, like it says, your soundtrack to your life. The difference in Bat and another album, let's say, by another artist that was big and does story songs, and his story songs, you listen to him, and he comes into every story because his picture is on the front cover. You know why I don't? Because I understood it then. I don't think he understands it now. If he does, he wants it to. I don't want to walk into your stories at all. That's why Battered to Hell, Dead Ringer, Midnight the Lost and Found, Bad Attitude, Oh, they, the record company screwed me on blind. Um, that next record, I can't think of the name of it. Bat 2, Welcome to the Neighborhood, Bat on Hell 3, Blind Before I Stop, every one of them. I'm not on the cover because I don't want to come into your stories. Those stories are yours. They're not mine. Oh, they have stories when I'm singing, but I'll never tell you, and I'm not going to ask you what yours are. They're yours. Cherish them, enjoy them, love them. It's Andy Dakin, bad out of hell. It is. So Andy, I love you. God bless you. Jonathan and Kate, you as well. And I want all of you that are watching this right now to never, ever, ever stop rocking. Yes. Now, Andy, I say to you, I love you, God bless you, and happy birthday, a very, we sang happy birthday, right we did, right? Yes, we did, Whew. and so Andy, let me go back, so Andy, I say I love you, God bless you, and have a very, very, very happy birthday.